Alright. Welcome, Tank Baby. About to start your fish fry and catch the stream later. Sounds good. Alright, so we did bring the rocket part of the way here last night. Um, at the end of the stream, we brought it from here, down this road, to here. So yesterday's was titled Moving Day, where we had all of our trucks lined up on here. And had to get a couple of them through the gateway. We still got to do a couple more. But I think... Uh, I was going to check this. It looks like I never... Because I didn't really do much in Cosmodrome yet. It looks like I still got to clear this tree. Uh, cliffside tree fall. So we'll have to see what that entails. Looks like we also have shore collapse, which we're not going down this way, or at least I didn't plan to, but might have to check into what those need. Um, but we did finish this bridge over here, so that's done. You're going to eat in a bit, about to do that mission as well. Finished the two trailers today, nice, I saw that on the Discord. Hello, uh, Bryce and Pearl, Saki and South Fang. Welcome, guys. So I think before we do that, I should probably at least take out this tree fall to make that a little easier. So let's see, what do we need for that? Tasks. Hello, Fabian. I am doing well, thank you. How are you doing today? That's all Cherno. Okay, cliffside tree fall, two service spare parts, tree blockade. That's also two service spare parts. Shore collapse is two metal beams. Okay, let's see. I got a quick check. Where's the other tree blockade? Isn't that like right here? It must be another one that I'm not not remembering. Okay. Um, but this is two, two service spare parts, this is two metal beams, so let's see where, I think we can get the metal beams down here, right? Sorry guys, I gotta do some quick planning here before we take this rocket out of here. Yeah, metal beams and oversized, okay. So yeah, we probably don't need the metal beams right away, but we should for sure get the service spare parts. So where are those at? This... no... Okay, they're on the way. We'll go do that. What trucks do we have here? I think it's the Dan and Taiga? Yeah, Dan and Taiga. So let's do this one. Closest to the garage here anyways. You're back from yesterday, welcome back. Uh, this is normally when I stream, but my nephews had the whole week off of school for spring break. So this week has been a bit different. But yeah, this is the normal time where I'm streaming. But today, they're gone. So... Alright, first order of business. Customize this. Kind of a crane though. That's a bummer. Oh well. I think we'll just go with that. Gotta zoom this out. There we go. That is nice. Is this the time that you're normally free, or is the other time more convenient? Oh shoot. There we go. I don't know if I need that log trailer. Uh, there is another log trailer on this map, so... Maybe I don't really need it, but I, d I needed it to clear the... Uh, well, I didn't need, I guess, but... Um, I used it to clear the... the bridge back there. So... We brought it just a little bit further down the road. Mm 
But South Bang, are you, uh... You said you're on the... <coughs> excuse me. You said you're on the same mission. Food is here, okay. You said you were on the same mission. I guess I'll wait until you come back, because I don't know if you're... Running away for a quick second. Um, yeah, you're usually free at this time. Nice. I think you said you were you were new to the game, right? You were in Alaska, if I remember right. Let's turn on our lights. It's getting kind of dark. Well, this this region that we're in is considered by almost everybody the hardest region. I don't know if there's probably a few who might debate it, but. I would say this is pretty much universally the hardest region. Not not specifically this map, but this region just in general. Hello, Mateo. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Alright, so like I said, we don't have a crane on this truck right now. So we will... Have to... Oh. We'll have to auto load. So there goes 300 bucks. I have a question. If you finish both the normal gameplay and the hard without chains, what would be another challenge for you? You might do it if you want to. Another time in Snorin. Or what would be another challenge? You might do if you want to another time in Snorin. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I've posed this actually quite a few times, but uh, just even yesterday. I would like to do a different playthrough on hard mode of either all highway trucks. So basically you're limited to like uh, the W990, Western Star 57X, GMC, MH9500. Oh crap, I need to go back. I'm going the wrong way. Um, the Transtar and the uh, Ford. The CLT... Or I always forget if it's CTL or CLT. For some reason, that mixes me up every time. Uh, but the 9000. So, I think that would be a fun playthrough. Or, I've also thought about doing like an all scouts playthrough. Obviously, that wouldn't be completely possible because they don't have a saddle lower, saddle high for some things that you need to deliver. And... The oh, last one would be, like, basically an all-small-trucks playthrough. So, like, the, uh, the Crocodile, the Acteon, the Warthog, like, really, really small ones. And I think you could, I think you could probably combine those. You could maybe do, like, a, an all-highways and small trucks and scouts, or maybe just scouts and highways, or scouts and small trucks, or, you know, whatever, like, some, some combination of them, but I think those would be fun playthroughs. Before I recommend you go and do something with New Game Plus. Sorry, you guys, I'm falling quite a bit behind here. No, I've, I've never played the game before or been in Alaska. Okay. I'm just going to quickly read this before I try and cross this river because this is a pretty rough crossing. Or can be. Um, everyone liked the live. Thank you, Sisu. Hopefully I said your name right before, uh, CLT 9000, Kodiak Challenge, uh, oh, the Suffrage, yeah. Kodiak could probably be included in the small trucks, it's, I mean, it has a, a bigger, bigger bet on it, but. Um, dudes and dudettes from Lessons, yeah, I think we're all caught up, actually. Okay. Honestly, I'm thinking that I might, it might be a better option to go up here and go around. So last time, I, I went through this crossing every single time, but I've seen people cross here pretty dangerously, and I've seen them cross, obviously, down here. But, yeah, I always crossed right here, but this can get pretty bad. It can get broken in through this part. Do I like fighting games? I mean, I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm open to playing pretty much whatever. I haven't played a fighting game in a long time. Are you talking about, like, like a UFC game or, like boxing or what kind of like uh, I guess what kind of fighting because there's um, what am I trying to think of um, like what is it Tekken or something like the old uh, I'm trying to think of some older fighting games something like that uh, let's see if this doesn't fail us
Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about. I wasn't going fast enough. Oops. It has its moments, Mateo, but uh, using it in every region and only it, aka slow death. You're here for a little bit, Tank Baby. Sounds good. Welcome to the stream. Why would you do this to yourself? It has moments... Oh, wait. Um, hello from Poland. I think I read that one. I started and almost every trucks must be the GMC. You get that during the tutorial. I'm a little bit confused by that. You started in almost every trucks... Oh, you've, you've, you've done different playthroughs with all kinds of different trucks. I got you. Uh, no guns, multiplayer with friends, and teamwork. Ooh. You're getting away from the in-laws? That's funny. Oh, that's right, I blew a tire on this thing, I forgot about that. I remember right at the gas station at the end of last stream, we hit hit the cement there, and it did like 150 damage. I think to our tire and then suspension, it looks like. Yeah, but... That one, I only do the GMC 800, or eight, okay, the AM 8000, I think. Most difficult I did was an all-cap playthrough of Yukon, gave up after five hours. Didn't you also say it was a first-person only and some other restrictions on that as well? Oh no, I'm insane. Uh, but we have never made them use said truck, I wouldn't. <laughs> What's your favorite truck in the game? Just kidding. Are you having a good day? Yeah, I'm having a good day. Um, my favorite truck is actually the Pike. I, this is probably one of my f other favorites. This thing can just crawl through anything. It's just fun to kind of drive around with it. But yeah, I like the Pike. You can just kind of, kind of the same thing. Just turn it on, put it in high, and just like fly across everything. Especially like in season eight, man, you can go anywhere. It does have sort of smaller tires, so sometimes we get stuck in some muddy areas, but... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty fun truck to drive around. I mean, can you guys imagine trying to pull a rocket trailer with a Transtar? Or a Ford? If you got that far? I can imagine those would be pretty insanely tough. Actually, I don't even know if those can have a high saddle. They probably can, right? Uh, JJ, like what fighting game I'm talking about is Helldivers 2. Would you ever play that? Yeah, I would play that. Oh, you, you, so you're talking more of a shooter. I was thinking like an actual, like a sort of a fist fighting kind of game. Yeah, I would definitely play Helldivers too. That looks like a fun game from what I've seen. Pull a rocket with a trans star would be nuts. But if we were to do like a, an all highways playthrough, you'd almost have to do it with the trans star, right? Like, you could do it with the W990 or something, but, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna go with the all-highway, might as well just go with one of the hardest ones, right? Lessons have you ever had, Gator Tail? Okay, let's see if we can get this thing yanked out of here. Oh boy. 
Another 52 to the suspension there. Alright. I'm not sure... I don't know if I should try to cross it with the Tuz and then pull that across, or if I should just go to the other crossing. I'm not really sure. Oh, you hurt? You have, nice. Okay, let's just see if we can get this with the Tuz, maybe. Oh, come on, am I stuck with this now? Oh boy, it seems as though I'm a bit rusty in a mirror. Um, yeah, we're definitely going around. I seem to have lost my, my touch with crossing here. Jeez, that ice jumped out at us. Wow, I'm making this much worse. How am I getting out of this? Oops. Oh boy. That is deeper than I thought as well. Alright. Boy, did we mess up, huh? You should cross a little to the right. Oh, is this, is this where I normally cross? It's been so long since I crossed over here, I don't remember where I normally... I thought I normally went that way, but it looks like I probably didn't. You think I'm not going to be able to move that? Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go grab it from the other side. I remember this is how I crossed most of the time before. But yeah, I don't remember exactly where I crossed. It looks like... Like Fabian said, it might have been a little bit more to the right. Probably was. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it was more upriver there. You don't miss being married lessons? Where did this go? JJ, if you want to pull the rocket tray there, only use the highway. I recommend the GMC. Because it can have all-wheel drive. Yeah, that's probably the best choice of the group. If you were to choose one. Best move it before the Yetis give you a parking ticket. That's one of those ones where you're supposed to say, Hey, mate, you can't park there. I remember you said that before when I when I messed up my vehicle pretty bad. You can't park there, mate. I just noticed, is this kind of like a road? Yeah, kind of looks like it, but not really. All right. You are back. Nice. Welcome back. Um, I'm probably going to run out of fuel if I keep doing this, though. Let's go... I'm gonna try and bring through something. Actually, wait, don't I have a... Where's the sentinel? That's through. Oh, it's over here. Still in the top, okay. That one has fuel on it. Well, either way, we're gonna have to bring this one through.
Mid-afternoon puff, don't mind if I do. Hello Alex, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, Alex? You've heard about the favorite truck, but what is my favorite cookie? Um, I'm trying to think here. Hmm. I, I'm, I'll give you a sort of a runner-up. I mean, I love chocolate chip. That's that's a basic, right? But probably my favorite would be. Uh, it's it's an apricot cookie that my mom used to make. She hasn't made it in a long time. I'm not. I don't even know what the name of it is or was. But those were those are probably my favorite cookies. This is going to be a slow trip here, isn't it? Good man, just finished shoulders and chest in the gym. Nice. Good for you. Staying healthy. How goes your trucking? Going to uh, South Fang. South Fang and me are at kind of the same point now. Both about 50% through Amir. Both of us have done all of uh, Northern. He's working on the rocket trailer, so am I. Uh, he's from your from your old state, Tank Baby. He's from Texas. You guys could have been neighbors, but no, you had to move away. JJ, glad I got another stream of yours to watch. Hope your day is going well. Are you going to continue the series by doing all regions? Yeah, that is the plan. We're going to go through all of the regions. I was hoping to start to catch up, but then Expeditions came out and we've been playing that quite a bit. But we were making pretty good progress. Uh, like, what was it? Must have been like uh, November, December, January-ish time. Made a ton of, ton of movement on our series. I think we went from... I started the live streams back in October, and we just had started Tamir. The first episode was Tamir. The first episode was the the first time we ever went to Tamir, back in October. So we went through all of Tamir, all of Kola, all of Yukon, all of Wisconsin, and now half of Amir in that time. Although the last, the last little bit has been pretty slow. We played expeditions for like two and a half weeks straight, and then we've been... The last two or so weeks, we've done like two or three episodes of it, so... A little bit slower right now. And then obviously with season 12 coming out, we did that as well, so that slowed us down a bit. I think the main reason I'm carrying this trailer is for the 605R if I want to run with an extra trailer on it. Jeez, this thing's bouncing all over. Awesome, excited to watch your progress while I play through Wisconsin right now. Nice. Wisconsin is my neighboring state. Uh, Ontario is north of me, and Wisconsin's to the east of me. Front doorstep is 3.3 .3 miles to the border. Nice. Come on. But yeah, I've said this a few times. Once we get through this region, we should start really making some progress. Because we're kind of hamstrung by the amount of vehicles we have right now. Only having nine vehicles, and the Tuz 420 is one of them, which is a scout. Can't do too much with that. The Sentinel is one. 
another scout. Can't do too much with that. Uh, the third one is the Tuz 166. Another scout. Can't do too much with that. Uh, we have the Acteon and the Warthog, which you can do some stuff with. Obviously, we're pulling a trailer right now, but uh, overall, with being such small trucks, they're not super useful. Being able to hold a little bit of fuel or one slot of cargo or whatever, but... Um, yeah, we're kind of stuck to basically... Oh, come on, turn the camera. There we go. We're kind of stuck to basically only the Dan, the Step 310E, the Taiga, and now the Zix 605R. Those are our kind of main, main vehicles. Oh, you live in Ontario, Canada? You're stoked you got a map. Nice. That's awesome. What part of Ontario are you from? Ontario is pretty big. I know it, it pretty much goes from Minnesota all the way to, like, New York. You can hook up a trailer on the Tuz. Which one? The Tuz, Tuz 166, right? I think you have to take off the, uh, the spare wheel mount. Because the Tuz 420 you can't. Well, JJ, you should go... Go for good progress after you get both Tatras. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll turn one of them into a fuel tanker, but... I'm not entirely sure. Just because... I was thinking about this the other day. So... I have 900 liters in a Scout fuel tank we're carrying around with us right now, right? I have... 600 in the uh, in this Warthog, and I have another 900 in the Acteon. So between basically one scout truck and two small trucks, we have 2,400 liters of fuel. Just one, if I had the 5600 TS, just one full fuel tank is 2,600. That's 200 more liters in just one truck. So fuel's kind of being an issue with us right now with how little fuel we can fit in these trucks. Alright, now we got a full roof rack, full truck, and full uh, big tank in the back. Ottawa just above Syracuse. Alright, a Texas map would just be hill country and fields. Yeah. Here we go. Now let's grab... Why do we have the step back? Oh yeah, the uh... Yep, yeah, I remember now. Oh boy, we're almost out of fuel in this thing. I think, is my step... No, it's fixed up, okay. How much fuel is in the 605R here? 290. And how much is in this? 97. So I can probably I can probably get all three of these two um, well close to the next map. You put a fuel tanker on the Phoenix and you've never looked back. Yeah, that's I mean the Phoenix and the Forest can hold 2,000 liters. So. Even just one of those trucks. Actually, can you even attach this thing? I think you need to have the set, the right uh, attachment, don't you? I could be wrong, but I don't think it'll just attach. Yeah, okay, you need a log carrier front. Thought so. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to run out more fuel, aren't we? Because I gotta carry this thing behind me, too. JJ, when is PTS? They were hoping to have it out by the end of the month, and the last day of the month is today. And they usually release it at around 10 a.m. my time. It's 2 p.m., so... I don't think... I mean, it's still possible they could release it in the next hour or two, probably. 
But if they don't, it's probably not going to be done today. It's going to be next week sometime. And it's been very quiet, from what I can tell. Oh man, that thing jumped. From what I can tell. So, I, I kind of thought uh, yesterday I was saying like, I don't know, I think it's going to be delayed into next week. Or not, maybe not delayed, because they didn't really put a timeline on it, but... Um, yeah, I thought it would probably be next week sometime. I'm going to say like probably mid next week would be my guess, like Wednesday. Oh no. Oh, I was hoping to get off the crane quickly, but not quite in time. So this is for sure running out of fuel. 14 liters, that's all we got. But yeah, I don't... There's not an exact date. Um, I haven't checked PTS chat this morning to see if Esserokin said anything, but I checked yesterday and there wasn't anything there. So... Yeah, last we knew, they were, they were aiming for the end of the month. And it's... Basically the end of the month. They haven't released it on weekends, so... Let's go back a bit. The only thing I could think of is maybe I could pull this truck with the 605R. Or I could run back with the the Warthog to get some fuel out here. But we're about to run out. Yeah, community feed announcements have no no PTS info on Discord. Okay. I want to use the Tatras, but the wheels blowing, or bowing, just doesn't do it for me. Oh, how they kind of slant inward. I'm um, hoping Season 13 has some sand, like Expeditions, dry surfaces that in the game look amazing compared to SnowRunner. Yeah, I thought uh, the Expeditions maps have looked awesome as well. Alright, let's see... I mean, I think I kind of screwed myself with uh, running out of fuel this close. Alright, let's stop that. Actually, no, I could drop some fuel in it from this one. I remember tipping this over, actually at the same point up here, last time I did this. So I guess we'll see Oh, we're starting to slip. We'll see how this goes. If I had to offer up what I thought would probably be the best truck to carry this thing, like currently with all the trucks in the game, I would probably say the Mastodon because it's a big truck and can have chains. Most big trucks can't have chains. Well, I take that back. There's like 13 or 14, I think, of the heavy trucks that can have chains. But I think most of them are the, the smaller end of the bigger trucks. Okay, I think I'm going to detach quick. Okay, I was like, don't roll over, please. Okay, let's throw from the step. Maybe the Acteon, there we go. Everything just feels too wet in SnowRunner. Yeah, it's kind of, uh... Kind of just, everything is really, like, like you said, kind of sticky, I guess. Right? Do I know what map Nick was talking about regarding Ontario? No, he was just saying he lives in Ontario and he's happy that they added Ontario as a region. So it's not it's not like a specific like area or whatever that he's from, just the fact that he lives in Ontario and that's his you know, the province he's from. I think that's where you said you're from as well. Let me see if I can get out to the main road up here, hopefully. And I'll try and flip that with the Zix, and then we'll uh, get that towed up to the main road here. Once we can get all these trucks out of here, we'll be good.
but yeah, we'll have to go... I think we'll put... That Tuz is kind of stuck in the river there. That'll be uh, kind of tough to get out. We'll either have to probably use a crane or drive all the way around, which we were going to drive all the way around, but I don't have the fuel for it. So that's kind of why I, I went back to here. Now we do have the the uh, Warthog, which has fuel at the, the gateway, but these trucks might run out of fuel, meaning I'd have to come right back, so I'm not going through the gateway yet. Alright, let's pull this along a little bit. You need a Louisiana map in SnowRunner. The swamps would be somewhat like Russia. Okay, let's try the Zix again. I didn't realize how close I was to falling off the edge of that right there. Am I really stuck on this thing? Hard to tell. This should be one of the easiest flips I've ever had to do. Using the Zix. Grab, grab the end of it. There we go. When the devs say a facelifted fawn, do they mean not licensed? My my initial thought on facelifted meant an older truck that they made look a little bit better, which I would interpret as yes, non-licensed, so that they have a little bit more uh, freedom to kind of change stuff. Okay, I guess I'll be back to my people. See you later. Sounds good, Tank Baby. Hopefully you uh, enjoy your, your in-laws time there. Boy, we're catching on that. Oh, shoot. Alright. I was gonna try and pass it with this truck, but I think I should keep moving this one out of the way. Sorry for switching trucks like a hundred million times here, guys, but... I'm trying to keep them all moving. This one's going to run out of fuel again. I feel like maybe I should just detach. Detach the trailer on the other truck and just run back quick. Yeah, I guess, what do you guys think? What do you think they mean when they said a facelifted fawn? There's a lot of fawn trucks, so it could be any number of trucks, but do you think it means... Well, no, actually, he said it by name, so maybe he means a fawn truck, I guess. Now that I think about it a little bit more, I bet you he does mean a fawn truck. They just changed something a little bit. Maybe it took an older model and... Like I said, made it look a little better, but maybe since it's licensed, they were... Got the approval or something? I don't know. Oh boy. Almost tipped it there. Try and ride the left side here so we don't hit this. Oh no, really? Well, that's a bummer. That little edge. What country is the fawn? That's a good, good question. I'm actually not sure. I didn't look it up. 
Not to be annoying. So in Snowrunner, there's an Ontario region. Yes, that is correct, Kevin. I'll actually, uh, oops, I'll show you quick. So we're currently in Amur, or Amur. I don't know, I kind of, U R or I R, kind of, or Y R, kind of all saw this sound the same. But they got a couple of different regions. Here is Ontario. So this is where Nick was happy that they brought into the map. Sounds like German or something. I remember I looked it up when I made the video, but I, I honestly can't remember where it was, so I don't even wanna I don't even wanna guess. But yeah, I grabbed a couple of pictures for the video when I made it. That I thought looked pretty cool. Ontario, one of the best regions. Ontario is very fun. Thank you for showing me. You're welcome, Kevin. Always happy to help. Kind of a thing that I started a long time ago was whenever I went to a region that somebody, somebody in the chat was like, um, from there, I was just like giving them a house. I'd be like, I would drive around and be like, all right, this is going to be your house. German is correct. Okay. For fun. But then we got like Bryce here and Tank Baby who they demanded a house anyways. So they got a house. I'm doing good today, Brandon. How are you doing? How is your uh, uncle doing? Any better? I, I don't assume so, but... Drop off some fuel. All right, throw it into. Wait, 49? I have 49 fuel in the fuel carrier? I thought I was completely empty. Didn't know that. Okay. I mean, I kind of remember it now, but forgot it at the time. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna see if we can back up. Pull it maybe slightly uphill. Bit nervous about this, but. Is it still catching? Doesn't look like it would be, but it might be. Is that catching? Alright, we're gonna cheat a little bit. Oh yeah, it does look like it is catching. That's a bummer. Sweet, I finished the game before all that came out, so I should re-jump in with the new content. Or con content. Alright, let's see, did that work? I think it did. Yep, definitely worked. Alright, we're fast. Uh what when did you stop, Kevin? What what uh season was like the latest one when you stopped? Yep, yeah. oh shoot. Hope your uncle's okay from Southang and how are you holding up from Mateo to Brandon? Yeah, Brandon said his uh his uncle has cancer. I don't remember what stage, but 
he's in the hospital now, so send your well wishes to Brandon and their, his family and friends, I guess. Sorry, if you guys hear me like sniffling, I have a have a runny nose. I think I've been sick for the last three days ish now. The last the last two streams I didn't feel great. It is my first time here, and I just finished Wisconsin. Well, congrats, congratulations, Blaine. Well, we're uh, happy to have you here. Very uh, welcoming and helpful community. I must say the Ontario maps are great, Kevin. Oh shoot, we are slipping. That was bad. There we go. Best wishes to you, Brandon. That's from South Fang. Yeah, I think we're going to have to cheat this a little bit as well. We're going to have to detach and pull. Oh, come on. Oops. Oh, I was hoping to get that one way up there. A little bit out of reach. Okay. The no chain tires is kind of a pain. Okay, attach. It's uh, a little bit more of a challenge, but it's pretty fun. still sliding. Alright, we might have to go to the side, I guess. There we go. Good, thanks for asking, JJ. My uncle Lonnie will be in the hospital for four days. Oh, he's got pneumonia now. Yikes. Amir is a pain, but fun. So you must have played it out of order if you've already, uh, you've played Amir, but just beat Wisconsin, huh? Uh, this is our hard mode, Blaine, so we have a couple more rules to make it even harder. One of which is we're trying to beat the entire game without using chain tires. So if it wasn't hard enough already, we're trying to make it harder. Alright, hang on. I gotta attach to the back of this again. My truck is not moving. Oh no, the trailer's going. Wow. I think I might have might have overdone it with picking the small truck here. Yeah, I got an idea. We're just gonna detach. You doing good, Matt? Hello, uh, Gordon. How are you doing? Oh, you're trying to get all the best trucks before you go here. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, probably a good decision. It's a pretty rough, rough area, especially the first time through. All right, we're gonna abandon it for now. I want to keep that trailer just because it's got some uh, spare tires and spare parts in it. 
once we get to here, I mean, it's going to be easy to tow the rest of the way, so. You just got to get it up over that hill, really. Alright. I was going to try and pull off on the side, but as soon as my tires hit that edge, it just kind of turned the vehicle around. There we go. That'll be fine. Uh, I'm also doing well, Gordon. Thank you for asking. So we're currently trying to get the rocket out of here, along with uh, four other trucks. Yesterday's episode was titled, like, Moving Day or something. We moved... Um, five of our vehicles out of here, I think. Today we got another four to go. Uh, this one obviously has the rocket. We got the Warthog, which had the service trailer behind it, which you just saw as well. And then we have the act or no the Acteon with the service trailer. The Warthog had oh shoot, there's a tree stump right there. Let me back up a bit. We had the the Warthog with the red sideboard uh, trailer. And then we also have right up in front of us here the um, Oh boy, the rocket's going. Oh, really? Wow. That is going to be trouble. Ooh, yikes. Especially considering I got all these trucks along the along the path here. So I don't know if we can flip that with this. This thing doesn't have much weight behind it. We are in quite the predicament because our, our best truck to flip that is also stuck. Hmm. Alright, here, I got an idea. Probably a bad one, but poor you. Okay, we're gonna go get fuel. We're gonna try and go rescue the Tuz, which is in a bad spot. Then we'll come back and try and rescue the rest of these trucks. Uh, it's going pretty good, Robert. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream today. We have the, the Warthog back behind us with fuel, so we should have enough fuel on this map to make it the rest of the way through. So let's bring this fuel to the next map. There we go. A tip I found, if you flip your load and want to reset, you close the game and relaunch it. It will load you past autosave. Yeah, I've heard that. You uh, can, what is it, Alt F4 or something? You are in a pickle. I don't like to do that. I know you definitely could do that. I've never done that. Do you recommend anchoring an autonomous winch vehicle to a post winching the fat boy back upright? Is there a post in the area? I didn't really pay attention. Actually, it doesn't look like it would be too bad if I could push the front end down. Here, let's, I'll show you. Let's see if we can do it, actually. We don't have too much fuel left in this specific truck. Oh wait, I gotta reset this. Bring that weight down a bit. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Hello, Marty. Welcome to the stream, Marty. How are you doing today? We got ourselves into a, a little predicament here.
Actually, it's pulling that Zix really well. Kind of surprised. JJ, you can use those big trees to flip back most vehicles. Yeah, we could. That was kind of what I was looking at when uh, when Mateo had mentioned about the posts. There's not really any posts super near to here, but we do have a couple of big trees, but they're fairly distant other than this one. See if we can get this uh, get this to go now. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Not too bad. So what I was doing was trying to use the uh, the downhill. I don't I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're right in a low spot right here, right where we flipped it. So I tried to turn the truck so it would it would fall down the hill essentially, which is why it was easier to roll it over. We were at the top of the hill and kind of yanked it down a little bit. All right, let's see if we can. Oh shoot, how am I gonna get this rocket trailer back on here though? I did not think about that either. Okay, we're gonna have to try and flip that sucker back over too, huh? Okay, let's do something like this. Hello, Zeb. Welcome. I'm relaxed, JJ. You are a problem solver. Well, thank you, Marty. That is uh, the name of the game sometimes, isn't it? Try and solve problems and predicaments that you get yourself into. Alright, that seems like it's a little bit too far uphill still. We'll try. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to try. I'm going to push it downhill further. <laughs> try and get in the middle here. Oh, shoot, the truck's still in the way. Okay. I am also quite relaxed. I have a bit of a runny nose, but... It's kind of fun when you get in the situations where you're, like, you know, like we had the, the Zix flipped, but the uh, main rescue vehicle, Tuz420, was nowhere to be found. It's actually stuck itself, so. Oh man, look at all that dirt it's pushing. Oh, it's so close. Okay. It looks like it's it's ready to fall over if I let go though. It's slowly tipping back over. Every second is is ticking. Actually, can I fit through this? I don't know if I can fit under that. I don't think I can. I think I gotta go all the way around and it fell. Let's try it again. This thing is probably not meant to be tipped over like this. Alright, 
Let's see. Maybe we can try this back corner a little bit more. It seemed like it was pretty heavily weighted the other way. Oh no. That trailer is kind of blocking it at the bottom, isn't it? and push it out this way then. <laughs> they use flex tape to attach the rocket to the trailer. It's a pretty strong flex tape, I must say. Oh man, this thing is just sliding right up the hill though. We got it to bite the first time and kind of flip, but not, not anymore. Actually, what if we can we flip it all the way over if we keep backing into it? Pull from the nose, not the back end. The back end is more heavily weighted, though. That's why I'm trying to I'm trying to get it more centralized. Because if you see the whole front, this part has no weight, and this part has extra weight hanging off the back. Although I guess, I don't know, maybe the maybe the game doesn't account for that. I'm not really sure. Okay. Alright, this time I think we have enough room to get by too. Yeah, we definitely do. Perfect, get it! Now the question is, can we back under it without the game flipping it over on us? It looks like it's at a kind of a tough angle. I think we can. We're going to try and back in from the top, sort of. Money shot. Really how to take damage on that. We're going like one mile an hour. Alright, let's see if we can attach here. It's probably too far off. Really? Well, that's a bummer. What is my favorite truck so far? I like using the Step 39331 bike. If you've never tried it, I would suggest trying it. I think I remember now why I skipped this map. <laughs> I mean, even the best truck is kind of struggling to get this, uh... Well, this is, this is operator errors. This is not... This is not the, uh, the map. This is me messing up. Okay, let's see if we can get this to go. Hello, Zavi. Welcome to the stream. No, Matt, they made the trailer and the rocket one piece. The trailer's going up in the up in the air with the rocket. At least this time we can fit under this thing for sure. We got room to turn around and get under it. Look at how much of a mess we made over here, though. Yikes. Far am I from the legs? Still a good distance, okay. Let's 
There we go. Alright. Finally we've gotten it, guys. Uh-oh, what are we... Oh, the legs. Cut and print, go clean up. Yeesh. Let's see, next time, winch it, pull it a little forward once it's upright. Sorry, I didn't read that one right away. Rip that Russian man's lawn, yeah. barely fitting inside these uh, power lines or power poles here. Your favorite truck is the Big Bad Kenworth and the Mac Defense. Okay. Those are both really great trucks, so... What am I... Am I stuck on something? Oh, the trailer legs again. Nice. Classic. Okay, we are free. I think we might end up... Oh, great. Trailer legs again. I think we might... Oh gosh, the trailer's swinging out. Might end up saying bye to that service trailer. That one that's kind of up in our way up here. We might end up just leaving it. I'm gonna pause it for just a second. I gotta blow my nose here. Alright, sorry about that. I think I've demolished the outhouse in the southeasters. <laughs> that's funny. I don't think I know which outhouse you're talking about, but that's funny. A thousand times feel sorry for those folks. There's just poo everywhere for them, huh? Okay, how much fuel do we have in... 500? Okay. Yeah, we can... Oh, wait. Yeah, we can fill this all the way up. We still got 250. That's enough to get back. Alright, this might be our chance to get that trailer, we'll see. Let's see if we can get this rocket on a, a flat surface, maybe. Okay, that looks pretty flat. Okay, let's see if we detach. Yeah, that looks good. Looking flat. It's all good, we still got... Still got the shot. Like I said, go clean up. Two more sessions, you animal. Blaine, I love the Mac as well. Alright, let's see if we can get this trailer out of here. Okay. I think what we might need to do is pull it out back downward and then reattach and pull it back up the hill when it's in a good position. Let's see if this, uh, let's see if we can get this to go.
All right, that should be good. So are you streaming now? Means no PTS news. That is correct, Zeb. There's nothing on nothing on PTS. Don't bump into the trailer. Okay, good. Oof. Um, it, they wanted to get it out by the end of the month. <coughs> Excuse me. They wanted it out by the end of the month, but yeah, there was nothing. Nothing came out today, so um, no, no uh, PTS probably till at least Monday. I don't think they've ever released it on a weekend, so. But playing, I love the Mac as well. Always thought the Mac was a tough, as tough heavy duty. Okay, let's see if we can get that trailer to go up here now. So yeah, we're gonna try and attach it, pull it over the hill. Once we get it over the hill, we should be good to pull the rocket trailer, pull the, um, pull the long log trailer, and get those other two trucks out of here. Man, this makes it so much easier. We were absolutely struggling with that small truck. This one just whips it right up the hill. I was gonna say whips it and rips it. Bryce says he's always loved mods. take it through here we'll pick up some fuel actually I was gonna drop it off earlier but I forgot I already had to run back the other truck so we'll just park it up by the gateway here you excited about the new Azov truck I am as well but to be honest I'm more excited about the new season and with uh, the two trucks that'll be coming with that well at least two usually I'm trying to think back, so yeah, 12 had two, 11 had two, 10 had two, 9 had two, two new ones, um, 8 had three, 7, two, six, two to 3, depending on if you count the A and K civilian as a, a new truck, um, we'll, we'll say three, um, 5 had two, and then four had two, three had three, I think. The Boar, Paystar, and Pacific. So all of them have been two or three. Um, and then Yukon also had two. Actually, I probably should turn around in here and reverse back the rest of the way. Because last time I kind of had trouble there fixing it. Anyways, um, yeah, Yukon had the Bandit, 770G, okay, can I, nope, there we go, perfect. Uh, Bandit, 770G, TH357. There we go. Uh, and then season one with the F750. Oh no. No, go to the left. There we go. Uh, F750, the Acteon, and Warthog. So we got two or three in every single year, or every single season. Well, that could have been bad. Too far away both ways. There we go. Alright, now it's time to get this rocket or the other trailer out of here. 
I'm going to take this wide, actually. I probably should have taken it wider already. Gotta try and stick as close as we can as to this side. Because it's a very long trailer. Trying to get that other one up in front of us. No. Alright, here. I think what I'm gonna do attach. It's a little bit too far back, isn't it? Uh, we'll attach here to this tree. Try and get that second one. It's just not having it. There we go. But please, not a new scout again. Actually, um, they said there's going to be all the next, the next scouts, Marty, are all going into expeditions. So it sounded like there's not going to be any more scouts coming into SnowRunner for the rest of year four. Maybe I misinterpreted that. I'd have to go back and read it. But from what I understood, all the scouts that would be coming out into SnowRunner have now been moved into expeditions. So no more scouts in SnowRunner as far as year four goes. They might do standalone DLCs, possibly, but from what I understood, no more scouts. So, hopefully, I understood correctly. And yeah, that would mean basically just a bunch of actually hauling capable vehicles. Alright. We got one last little hill here, and then we're into the next map. But, of course, we gotta go back and get our step and our warthog, so that we're not abandoning those. Ugh. Catching on the tops of the hills again. I hate when I do that. I attach it and then I detach it right away on accident. That would be great, yeah. I mean, we have way too many scouts already in my opinion. Like, scouts are fun, but they're just not really useful. I don't remember how many we have, but it's probably like a third of all vehicles and like how much do you actually use them? Far less than a third, I would argue. All right, I think I'm just gonna pull this thing all the way up to the gateway. I was gonna grab some fuel, but I'll just, I'll make a quick little run back and forth. All right, let's pull this truck up into here. There we go. All right. Wait. Oh, I was going to say, wait, I didn't refuel this thing? I thought I did, but no, I, I remember because there's fuel just up in front of me. That's why I didn't refuel it. I'm glad Season 13 is going to be a bit more challenging. Yeah, I'm hoping... I mean, I thought Season 10, because I played Season 10 with Level 2 trucks, or a Level 2 driver profile or whatever. And that was before, excuse me, before the JAT tires came out. That was pretty challenging. That was really, really tough. Definitely doable. I think every, every season is doable as a Level 2 with, you know, highway tires and stuff. It just takes a lot of patience. But yeah, it will be fun 
if they add a little bit more of a challenge. We were talking about this yesterday, and I think probably like the most ideal would be, for me anyways, would be non-ideal for most people. I'd like, le I'd like to have like a this level of difficulty, plus having to build your garage and stuff, plus the, the contracts of Yukon. So like the most difficult of everything, basically. Especially a small log trailer. You hope for new trailers every season. Yeah. The small log trailer's been asked for... Pretty much for two years now. Uh, they, they came out with short logs here in Amir. This is the first, uh, first region that had short logs. They had uh, long and mediums. Uh, I think those came in in season three, but they, they implemented them all the way back into, until Michigan. But yeah, short logs have been asked for for about two years now and haven't gotten any any lo any short log trailers. Alright. Let's refuel quickly just to get us to the gateway. Well, that should be probably enough, but just to be safe, I guess, we'll throw a little extra. But yeah, no more scouts. If that is, if I understood him correct, that, that in my opinion is probably the best thing we've heard in a while. Because I'm, I'm tired of getting new scouts, you know, one or two new scouts here and there. And it's like, dude, we don't, nobody really uses these. Like, they're fun to play with for a little bit, but I don't know. They're just, they're not really useful. That's where I think expeditions they actually are useful, and I think it's a great great idea for them to move them all over to expeditions. Anything new, new scout related that they had planned? Yeah, throw it over there. Makes perfect sense to me. Alright, hopefully this part goes well. Because then we're on to the next map, finally. Yesterday was supposed to be the moving day, but I wanted to leave a little bit of vehicles here just in case we needed it, and it actually we did because we flipped the uh, the Zix there for a little bit, so glad we left some stuff back behind for a little while. I have a small log trailer. It's called the Haramatsu Forester. Yeah, the Forester is great for small logs and mediums. Burlak was helpful in a mirror with along with the Tatran. I can see that. I mean I, I used the burlac here as like a testing grounds. And yeah, that thing was just crawling over rocks and going through breakable ice and everything. It was it was just awesome. It was a great truck. Alright. I'm going to pull this thing up again, up to the gateway here, I think. I'm going to detach the trailer. Well, actually, it's not attached, but... Um, I'm going to winch this trailer through the gateway, probably, with one of these other trucks. So let's detach this. I'm going to try and back this thing onto this trailer. There, we now we attached that. Try and squeeze in here. Perfect. Okay, let's go get our last truck, the Warthog. So we're leaving one trailer behind on this map. We're leaving two trailers behind on Northern Aegis installation, but we don't need them, I don't think. The reason I say we don't need them is because we have the red trailer up there. The, the, here, I'll pause it and show you. Um, in Northern, we left two sideboards right down here. Two red ones. So, no use for those, really. And then in Urska, we're going to leave uh, this sideboard way up here. Another two-slot sideboard. So we have this one with us. Well, you can't see it right now, but there it is. So yeah, I think uh, 
We can leave all the rest of them. As long as we have one, we should be fine. We'll have two uh, semi-sideboards. So we pretty much have all the stuff I think we need. Um, we have a long log trailer. We have two semi-sideboards. We'll have a regular sideboard. We got a log trailer or two. What do you think is better for medium logs? Forester or 745C? Uh, it's... If, if I had to give my initial opinion, would be the 745C. It's just a little bit more capable, it's got taller wheels. Um, but to be honest, for hard mode, I think I'd prefer the Forester for a few reasons. It's way better on fuel, and you can overload because you can have the crane. Or even if you don't want to overload, you can manually load, which is going to save you money. So, yeah, for... Uh, for hard mode, the Forester is probably the better choice, but both of them are really good logging trucks for mediums. But yeah, the, when you're in the cat, you're burning like 25-ish liters probably per minute. If you use the Forester, you're burning like 10, something like that. So it's, it's way more fuel efficient. You prefer the cat, but the Forester is still awesome. You pulled all of them out since you can resell them, yeah. I did that all the way up to Season 8. Season 8 is when I stopped selling all the trailers. I was like, alright, I have enough money now. But I used to do that. I would bring every single trailer out and sell it. You managed to flip it in NAI? I'm not surprised. The uh, That's the burlac. The burlac's hard to tip back over, too. All right, finally guys, we have all of our trucks, or almost, I mean, in just a minute here, we'll have all of our trucks complete, completed everything and out of Northern Ages installation and completed and have all of our trucks out of Erska River. So we're on to the last two maps officially. I'm not sure if we ever have to come back here. We might, but I don't think so. All right, filled everything up. We're gonna drop off fuel and just top off all these trucks quick, and then we're gonna run back and grab a little bit more fuel. What are your thoughts on season seven? I hated what it was about, but the map was great. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. I didn't like the season, but if you just think about the overall map, I thought it was pretty good. The one thing I didn't like is why you would deconstruct a bridge. I thought that was the stupidest thing ever. That might be the worst, uh, dumbest thing you can do in SnowRunner. Or just, like, in general. Like, why would you deconstruct a bridge? Okay, fuel carrier. I think this is the right one, right? Okay. Fill up the Zix, the Step, Acteon. Okay, those are all full. Full, 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 and full, full, full. So yeah, we just got to top off. We need about 270 liters, I think it is, on the fuel carrier here, and then we'll get out of here. It's daytime, JJ! Yeah, my nephews are gone. They told me they were going to be gone today. I was like, oh cool, so I can stream at a normal time. Hang on a second, I'm blow my nose again. Alright. I'm so glad they changed the fuel price here as well to $2 a liter. Man, that's a good deal. The next map is $8 a liter, I think. But yeah, here we are, Zing. This is the last, uh, the last bit of stuff we have to do here. So let's take the step, we'll start it up, actually we'll connect to the uh, Zix 605R, we'll bring both of those through quick. Man, that was a really quick loading screen, holy smokes. 
Let's go back to the warthog here. Let's bring the last two through. So it's attached to this trailer. Bring this one up and through. There we go. And let's go back one more time. Sorry for the loading screens, guys. Let's bring the last one through. Oh, it's rocket time, eh? Uh, sort of, yes. We got the rocket all the way out of out of Erska now, so pulled the rocket trailer from from uh Jeez, we have a huge vehicle mess here. Look at this. Acteon. Well the Tuz is just just down the road. So we got the Acteon, the Zix 605R, the Step 310, the Dan is just down the road as well. Got the Warthog, the Sentinel, Tatrin's kinda stuck. Tiger's over here. Got a service trailer. That's not ours. Um, we got a sideboard trailer, scout fuel trailer, semi sideboard trailer, and a logging rear. So we have a ton of ton of vehicles and stuff all just packed right here. Okay. But yeah, we wanted to get the. Uh, the rocket through and now we have the rocket plus all of our vehicles through but I think I'm gonna need I need to bring fuel to one of my uh, trucks and then that trucks gonna go around and rescue another truck and then that'll open up the get the uh, there's a tree blockage that we need to clear and then we could bring the rocket the rest of the way there so we're, it probably won't get delivered today but maybe we'll have to see You hope next four seasons have watchtowers instead of prototype exploration unit trailers to uh, disc um, sort of use around the map. I liked how season 10 did it, to be honest. Season 10 had a, had a ton of watchtowers, but I liked that. I thought that was pretty cool, because you could go around, hit all the watchtowers, and you had like 95% of the map discovered. I thought that was really cool. So yeah, we are officially on to Cosmo now. You like that too, Mateo? Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't... I mean, I don't mind... Yeah, I'll show you this. This map's right. I don't mind it how this is. Like, you get this watchtower, you unveil this big black area, and you get... Was it this? This watchtower, you unveil this big area, but... To be honest, I kind of liked how they had Season 10, where it was like... 15 small towers all over the place and they unveil a little part but they they uncover like all the way to the edge of the map there's just like a small corner cut here and like a little bit here and stuff like that to where almost the entire thing was unveiled by the watchtowers i thought that was really nice what do you what is better for medium logs ct681 or ct680 i would probably say the 81 with Marty. I didn't uh, see your question, but I saw Marty's response. But yeah, I would probably go with the CT681. I feel like the 681 is just a little bit better. Season 10 was dope, for sure. I really like the, uh, the views and stuff of Season 10. Sorry, I was uh, sneezing there again. Okay. I love, love, love the CT681. Used it in Ontario. It has been amazing. The CT681 is a really fun truck. I still remember when I unlocked the CT680 for the first time when I hit like rank 10 or 12 or whatever it was in Alaska. I was like, sweet. 
Season 10 is great. Your favorite season? Season 10 has got to be up there. I think on everybody's list it was a, it was a good one. Alright, let's also drop this off here. Okay, let's go refuel the Taiga. That was the that was the main objective of going back to the other map, but then I remembered I still had to refuel the other trucks and get those out of there, so. Oh, you're back, South Fang. Alright, welcome back. Just wish it had a roof rack or something. Yeah, the CT681. I would like to see a couple of trucks get roof racks, and they're not even trucks that I use, just it seems like that's kind of like so like the 73210, that has a huge flat spot. Like, how that thing doesn't have a roof rack, I don't understand. And I'm not saying all trucks should get roof racks. I actually like that some trucks don't have them. I think if every truck had roof racks, if every truck had all-wheel drive, if every truck had diff lock, like, it would kind of make everything boring because all the trucks are kind of the same, you know? Obviously, they're still different, but... You know what I mean? It would kind of take away some of the uniqueness of some of the trucks. So... Yeah, I, I would like to see some trucks get the roof racks, but I understand why not all of them have have them. But I think the 73210 is just... And that's not even a truck that I like. I said this before, I actually don't really like using that truck. It always bumps its front nose on stuff. And if I'm going to use a three-slot truck, I want to at least, at least have a crane with it. So, I, if I were to use the 73210, I'm going to use it with a two-slot and a crane. Or a... Uh, um, a saddle low on a crane. Actually, does it have saddle low? I don't know if it does. Maybe saddle high in a crane, I don't know. But, yeah, you get the point. It's not even a truck that I would really like, but I would like to see it have a roof rack. It's just got such a huge flat spot, I don't know how it doesn't. I keep driving past this. I want to check, actually. Do I have this... What is it called? Fuel for the masses? Yeah, I haven't accepted that yet. I keep driving past it. Wait. Build additional farmhouses. Do I have that one? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna just stop over here. Pick this one up on the way. Accept that. Let's back it up. You're welcome, Bryce. So yeah, now it's time to give fuel to the Taiga, bring the Taiga across the river, and then hopefully pull out the Taz, if we're lucky. I might, I might have to use a different truck, I don't know. One good thing is that the uh, there's fuel in a fuel tank actually on the other side of the river. It's not close to us, but yeah, it'll be nice to have some fuel. And there's a fuel station on this map, so I guess there's a fuel station on every map here. But all right, let's refuel. Oops, not that. Eh. There we go. Okay, Digi, it's been ages, but were you able to solve your PC problems back then, setup-wise? Um, sort of yes and sort of no, Marty. So, I don't know why. So I was trying to do a two-PC setup, 
so that so where one computer would be doing most of the heavy lifting for the gaming, and the other one would just be broadcasting the live. But for some reason, and I don't know why, the coloring was way off uh, when I used when I had the two PCs set up. Like, um, so sort of like a yellow would look like really orange, and it would have like flashing black spots, and I don't know what that was about. But uh, after a while, I was just like, you know what? This is this is a pain. I'm not even gonna try and figure it out. I don't I don't really care that much. I have a really powerful PC that I can just do it with. So I was trying to lighten the load on my, you know, the, the PC I'm using right now to where it would it would just have to game and the other one could do the the broadcasting part. But yeah, whatever. It's I mean, it works fine. I was just trying to be a little bit a little bit nicer on it is all. But no, I never figured it out. I have no idea what it was. But if you go back and watch like my first first few uh, streams, probably my first five or six or something, yeah, it was like flashing black spots and really orange and some weird stuff was happening, so. Yeah, right now I just use one PC. I just have two screens. I should flip them around because my chat is on the far left side of my left screen. Because obviously you read left to right, so it puts it all the way on the left side. Uh, I could move it to the right, but then it might cut off some people's chats. So I have it like all the way to the left as far as I can, so I can read, you know, all the way across. And uh, if I were to switch them around, it would be on the left side, or it'd be, yeah, on the left side of the right screen. So it'd be like right, you know, as close as it could be to the other screen. My gosh, this is so slow. But, uh, yeah, I haven't switched them around yet. I don't know. I probably should. I keep saying that I should for the last, like, week or two. Because it's... It would be way easier to read chat than where I currently have it. Because I have to, like, turn my head all the way to the left. Or not all the way, but... Way further than I probably should have to. If I had it switched around, I could probably just not even have to turn my head, just move my eyes. But right now I have to totally turn my head, so... Uh, hello, Artem. Currently doing burnt logs in Ontario. Damn, that's a tough one. Yeah, I remember getting out of that that area was pretty tough. There's some roots in there. There's some small burnt up stumps you can't really see. Those were a pain. I like season eight, but I hate all the farming. Yeah, I also I I like season eight a lot, especially the maps. I thought it was really fun to just drive around and have sort of a free reign wherever you wanted to go. But yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the farming either. I liked it at first, like doing it first maybe two, three, four, five times, something like that. But once you get up to the 17th time, it's like, okay, this is not fun anymore. Like, please, please be done soon. Uh, Mateo says, it's a chore. What are you talking about uh, getting the two PCs set up together as a chore? Or is that for something else? I kind of... Or no, it's, the farming's a chore, I think you're saying. All right. Sounds like a lot of patience. Uh, respect. I think streaming setup is never completely finished. Oop. I'm smashing into that one. Yeah, that's true. There's always something you can improve. Like, my, my computer is pretty, like, close to top of the line. But, I mean, it, literally, after a few months, like, there's a new new part out that you could improve your setup with. Or... Like, you could get a different microphone. I don't even have a camera, but, you know, if you want a different camera, you could always increase that, get different lenses and, like, all kinds of stuff, you know? So, yeah, you're, you're, it's kind of like a, a never-ending, you know, uh, progression or whatever you want to say. Turning circles on the tractors was bad, too. Yeah, that was really bad. I'm still thinking about Marty. Marty, uh, for his for his game when he started, he went up to season eight and got the Kirovitz, and he was using that for a little bit for like logging and stuff, and as, as the rescue truck. And like that would be a really fun way to play it. I know it'd be you'd be jumping around a little bit to get some of those trucks, but I've always played the game completely in order, never jumped out of order. I shouldn't say always. Actually, I lied about that. 
Um, for my normal mode, I did, but for my hard mode, or I played it on Xbox. I played it completely in order. I played it on Steam. I played it completely in order for quite a while. But then once new seasons came out, I, I started doing YouTube and I started jumping back and forth. Uh, and then, yeah, my hard mode, I've done it all in order. So I've mostly done it in order. I guess the one, the one time I didn't for my uh, normal mode was when I started making videos. I was jumping back and forth to the newest seasons. But that was uh, like, I want to say it was like two to, f no, one, one to five, two to six, three to seven, four to eight, something like that. So I played season one, then I jumped up to five when that released. Then I played two, and then I jumped up to six when that released. And then I jumped up to three, you know, kind of back and forth. But uh, Michigan, Alaska, Tamir, and one, I played all, all those in order before I started jumping. And I played Michigan, Tamir, Alaska, and Kula on Xbox as well. It's the same, same group. Um, and then I played 8 through 12 in order, because obviously I caught up at that point. So... But yeah, I've never really... Never really jumped around just to get trucks. I, if I jumped to the region, it's, it was for uh, playing the whole thing. All right. I actually don't remember this being all breakable. This is not good. Yeah, let me look around here. I think we're going to go to the right here. That's right, I use a K700 at the beginning for everything. Um, that was possible with it. Because you grew up with it in real life, I remember that, yeah. You said you saw it when you were a kid or something. And I said, that's really cool, I think that's super cool. Oh shoot, we're breaking. Can I go around the ice? You can, yes, okay. Yeah, I think that's awesome that you did that, Marty. Like, if you were to start out in Michigan and have like a, a K700 as like a rescue truck, like that'd be such an awesome rescue truck. That thing is huge. And like you got those big old mud tires and stuff, like even if you don't have any upgrades for it, that truck is such a beast. Alright, here we go. Oh no. Don't get me stuck. That scared me for a second. You grew up with a K700 in real life? Oops. Be right back, alright Bryce. See you in a little bit. Yeah, I don't remember... I think he said he saw him around as a kid. And so... The sound of cracking ice is so terrifying in this game. <laughs> Especially when your truck starts to lean. Like, even if it leans a little bit, it's like, dude, that thing could just sink right in and take you right over. Okay, I think I want to follow this around that way. So I'm going to do that. I don't... I've actually never gone this way. 
uh, the route that I'm kind of going to go right now. I just don't want to follow that all the way up and around. Although, maybe, I, I, yeah, I guess I could and then drop it off, but I think that's kind of a tough area. Although this one is going to have a lot of deep snow, isn't it? Scariest things in SnowRunner, the deep mud holes. Random dips that are deep enough to flip you, yeah. Yeah, those things are scary. You go into it and you're like, you're fine, and all of a sudden just, woof, there's like four feet deeper. You're like, oh my god. Yeah, you can't see it until you drive into them. Because everything's going fine until it's not. And then your truck's like, almost completely tipped. So yeah, once we get this uh, roadblock up here cleared, I think we're then able to move the rocket trailer the rest of the way there. This is the last uh, last thing in our way. I guess technically you could go the other way and have to get some more metal beams, but it's not the way we're planning on going, so... Oh, actually, does that does that truck over there have any fuel? I, no, I think I actually I have to repair it and fuel it. I think so. I don't quite remember. Uh, that's right. East Germany was influenced by Russia through the DDR, and that's why there were so many K700s and K700As. Almost tipped twice now, just burnt logs mission due to this. Oh wow. Almost got an office opposite checkpoint Charlie confused here. Um, well, that is awesome. Yeah, I gotta blow my nose again, guys. Sorry. Alright. Ooh. Went to Berlin on a business not long ago, saw the Russian influence of some of the architecture. It's really interesting. Welcome back, Bryce. Yep. The scariest thing in this game is NAI. <laughs> yeah. Some of those paths in NAI are ridiculous. Checkpoint Charlie is a famous checkpoint on the Berlin Wall. Okay. I didn't know that. I've never heard of that, so thank you for explaining that. I'm not going to try and pull that trailer right now. It's not on the list of to do. The list of stuff to do, I should say. No worries, I didn't either until I visited. Quite weird to see, to be honest. Hey, JJ in chat. Yes, I love the tractors in Season 8, except for their turning circles. The K7M is my favorite out of the two. I'm glad they brought the K700 for Mudrunner, though. Yeah, that's, that's a fun truck. I should go back and play more Mudrunner. I know I talked about that a while ago. I've only streamed Mudrunner once, but... Yeah, it's been pretty fun. I just, I remember I did uh, one of the, the contests in the K7M on Season 8. 
and it just destroyed it. It was a contest that threw the mud. It was crazy. That thing was just trudging through everything. What tractors would you have loved to see in Season 8? I would love to have seen the Massey Ferguson. Well, we could still get them in Season uh, 14. Season 14 is going to be farming, somewhat farming related. It might, might be more forestry by the looks of it, but could have some sort of farming uh, tractors, right? Wait a minute. Am I forced to drop it off on the other side? I am, aren't I? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. Oh wait, next action, here we go. Oh, that was scary for a second there, I was like, what? Agreed, NAI is the Morador of SnowRunner. Still sick for four weeks now. Yeah, I don't know what I got. I got something going on. I don't know if I sound different, but I feel like I do. Um, season 14, we will finally see a working version of the abandoned tractor in every map. Maybe. That one over there. Yeah, maybe. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. So now we have the last roadblock cleared for the rocket trailer. I think, anyways. Hello, Lonnie. Welcome to the stream. Derek, welcome as well. slowly moving through this. Interesting, Matt. Later I had less contact with the Kirovitz during my military service. I mainly dealt with MB, Unimog, Man, and Mercedes. Okay, let's see. So if you guys can't tell, we got the got the Tuz in a bad situation over here. Doesn't look like it's getting out anytime soon. Oh, yikes. Oh, boy. I might have got two vehicles stuck now. is going to come out of here. I feel like it's working, but I don't know.
Oh, here, I think I might. Yeah, I got the Tuz 420 stuck. What happened was I got the Taiga stuck and I tried to get the Tuz 420 to rescue it and I fell into the gap. So, you know, I got probably both of these stuck in here. I don't really think I can turn this thing around. <laughs> Trying to get up to my right, but it's not. There's nothing to grab onto out here, so this is just. This is just not gonna work, is it? At least the uh, the engine is still going because the engine's in the back. <laughs> Montez. Yeah, I don't know if this is coming out of here. I think we might need a crane. See if we can get this thing out of here. Uh, are chain tires OP or are you just challenging yourself? Yeah, just another challenge. They're not OP. I mean, they're they definitely if you're if you're only on ice, they're they basically stop you from sliding. But they're not really great for anything other than ice. Like if you're in the snow or something, they're not really good. Good, is it? If you had weight in the truck, it would work. Oh, jeez. The ice chunk jumped out at me. This should give you a good anchor for a pull. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not moving at all. It's kind of just pinched in there, I think.
Actually, let's see, see if we can back up at all. No. Yeah, I could try and pull the nose up, but the problem with that is that if I do that, it'll put the it'll put the uh, back end underwater, which would shut off the engine or damage the engine. I'm gonna try and see if I park my truck sideways if I can get a little better pull on it. Oh, nice! Look at that. We moved it. I don't know. If, does, does the ice chunk weigh anything? Try my suggestion above. Um, you're gonna need a crane, otherwise. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't read the I didn't read the long one. This is gonna sound counterintuitive, but try wedging your taiga nose in the ridge in front of the water to stop it being pulled towards the attachment. Oh, like I see what you're saying. Basically, where my tires were. Your back tires are. You put a snip in the Discord to help me understand it. I think I'm gonna go get a crane. This thing is, uh. Pretty solidly stuck, it seems like. Actually, let's see. What if we attached it to the front? That's too far away. What about this side? Does that help at all? Oh, maybe. Maybe. So parking the suck tri or truck sideways certainly helped. It's getting a lot better pull, it's not sliding around, I guess. Let's try it from the very front. I mean, it looks like it's coming out more and more every every second, but not much. All right, I think we'll go get a crane. Oh no, it's slipping back in. Can a crane even lift a tuz? Is that a thing? Heavy crane. Yeah, I think that's the that's the that's the plan. We could put it on the step, the Dan, or the Taiga. Taiga's already there, so I think we'll leave that. Oh. Could do the step. What does that have on it? I think the Zix would be the best option because it's the biggest one. And actually, the Zix might be able to just pull it out if I just bring it there. I don't know.
catching on something. The whole truck's turning. Oh, the pole? Maybe? A little bit too far inside? Looks like maybe, yeah. There we go. That'd be a good test for the new crane, but I don't think you have it. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have it. We don't have any truck that would have it. I'm trying to think, because yeah, you got the 5319, D 512, 73210, Kenworth, uh, Mastodon, a couple of those bigger ones. That's what you were thinking, Derek. 605R might be able to pull it out with just how low it sits. And I'll, yeah, just the the weight behind it as well. The uh, truck is a lot more heavy than the Taiga. I gotta get that that part cleared before I can uh, before I can go through there. And actually, now that I broke up all the ice, I'm gonna wanna get those trucks out of there, like completely out of there too. Let's throw a crane on here. See if we can't get it. Oh boy, it spun me a little more than I wanted. Yeah, we'll put a heavy crane on here. We'll see if we can pull it out by just pulling it, but we have the crane as well as a backup option. Alright, let's throw heavy crane on there. Oh, we'll repair supplies, yep. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I don't think we have any of the trucks with the big big uh, heavy crane that you're talking about Lonnie but that would be a pretty good test for it I don't know I remember when I tried to do it I tried to lift up an F750 and I think this crane couldn't lift up the F750 or no the other crane couldn't lift up the F750 when it was fully loaded but it could when it was empty so it kind of showed the difference of how strong it was All right, well, let's get down here. You had all, all if you had all that weight with the trailer, the 605R would pull it out. I thought about that too. Yeah, bringing the big rocket down there might be able to pull it out with that with that amount of weight behind it, but. I didn't want to get the rocket trailer down there and sort of in a bad spot, like a, you know what I mean? If I brought the rocket trailer and then it like got wedged into something or like tipped upright or something weird. So I just decided to drop it. We'll go back to it in a little while. I'm optimistic we'll be able to get it out, but I know the Tuz is super heavy, so I'm kind of a bit nervous. Like, I don't... I don't know if I can even pull it up with this crane, can you? Like, I've never really tried to lift up a Tuz, but I don't think it would even, like, lift it. Although the water will help with the buoyancy, or maybe I don't know if the physics work that well in this game, but... 
You got a brisket rub that is done. Back to the fridge. Smoke it tomorrow. Nice thing. That sounds good. I'm actually headed over to Wisconsin tomorrow, so I'll have to stop by. Alright. There's our little Acteon. Forgot about that. Brisket rub sounds good, man. Yeah, it definitely sounds good. It's for Easter? Oh, that's that's what I meant. I was going to come over on uh, Easter Sunday. Yeah. I'll be in town tomorrow and Sunday for you. Sorry, it's called for. So that one... For the second, or record books, you get the Tuz 420. Yeah, that's one for the record books. Getting the Tuz stuck so bad you can't get it out. Uh-oh. We're getting this stuck as soon as we pull in here. I forgot how heavy this crane can be at times. I shouldn't say at times, just how heavy it is in general. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll try, the, I don't really want to pull the front end because it'd probably take a bunch of damage, so. There we go, kind of jammed, came loose with that one. Boy, the whole uh, the whole Zix is flipping upside down here. It's coming up though. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, big boy. I can't say I've ever done that before. That is new. I mean. We probably have to recover it. I wouldn't want to buy a new one just because the price would be bad. <laughs> we'd, we'd, we'd waste a lot of money that way. But it would be kind of funny just to have like a graveyard, wouldn't it? Any truck that we get stuck so badly that we can't recover, we just leave it there and buy a new one. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Oh, sorry. I was I was joking about that, Derek. I was. I was kind of implying to Zing, like, hey, well, I'm, I'm going to be in town anyways, so I'm just going to stop over and have some of your food, but I'm actually not going to Wisconsin. I was joking. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Oh, also, uh, Mateo, yeah, you said I'm headed to Wisconsin. I was just joking, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm going to be staying home all weekend. I'm probably not doing anything. I haven't been feeling the best the last few days. There we go. Okay. Let's scrap it for parts. Derek is sad. Now look what you did, JJ. Yeah. Sorry, Derek. Um, you'll take some pictures. You got it. Uh, yeah, I, th I thought you did because you said it was taken or it's called for. But some of the other people are probably more new to my uh, my shenanigans. Didn't didn't know I was joking. Nice recovery, thank you. I'm glad we got that thing done. There's been a few times where I've been super nervous about some of the situations we've got in. That was one of them. No problem. That was one of them. There was one in uh, Michigan where I, f I flipped over a Fleet Star and a White Western Star down a huge hill. And I didn't think I'd be able to recover those. Or rescue those. And then both the times I got the Zix stuck flipped over in the water. So I've had like five really close, close calls where I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get ourselves out of it. 
but we've, we've managed to so far, so I guess that's good. Alright. Kind of getting all of our stuff up here to the base, I guess. Come on. Am I really stuck? You got the Fleet Star stuck in Smithville Dam and you couldn't get it out until you got the Twin Steer, okay. Yeah, I was really stuck and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get it out. It was it was way down a hill. And I could barely reach it, and I was like, oh God, I think the only chance I have is getting the P-16 because it's so heavy. And that's what I had to do, I had to bring the P-16 out there. Which was kind of funny because I just unlocked it like earlier that episode or maybe it was a little bit maybe it was the episode before or something but it was like really recent so I was like alright well this is the biggest truck I have this is gonna have to work why is this thing so slow slipping all over the roads Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Zix back, take off the take off the crane, put the high saddle back on, uh, probably bring the the uh, the Tuz back. The Tuz could get fixed by this trailer actually. It's missing like two two flat tires I think now. Uh, and then I'll probably bring the Taiga back. Maybe I'll put a saddle low and a crane on there. I'll probably put a uh, crane and a bed on this one. Mm, trying to think, maybe the Acteon could be sliding. No, there we go. The Acteon, I might have to switch that into a single slot with a crane to go do the medial point. I'm still very nervous about that one without chains. I don't know if we're going to be able to climb that hill. Alright, I think let's park this. Maybe, maybe we'll park it right here. Check your Discord. Hang on a second. Leave that here. Uh, just had a bug that launches your truck in the air. Oh boy. Okay, what else is left back here? Oh, the Sentinel. I think it's the Sentinel and the Warthog. Sentinel, Warthog, and two trailers, I believe. But we do have a uh, little fuel on this thing, which is nice. Bye, Bryce. Have a good rest of your day as well. Have a good weekend. I do have a hard end time tonight at 5 o'clock. Which normally I end at like 5 or 5.30. So it's not not like early, but yeah, it has to be done like 5 o'clock tonight. So uh, 50 minutes or so. We're going to be done. I'm just happy to have all of our trucks over here. Finally got everything over into this area. Alright, so this is something that I haven't done. South thing, where on the Discord did you post it? Mateo's looking for it. Is it in the SnowRunner one? So we're going to hit up this watchtower. This is the uh, the area I've been talking about a lot. Hang on, let me blow my nose again here. Sorry guys, keep having two.
But yeah, the uphill section here, uh, not this part where I'm at, but a little bit further once we get the watchtower here, is basically glare ice all the way up, up and down. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> I was looking over at the chat again. Dang it. I saw you said bye to Bryce for Derek. What else did I miss over there? I was trying to catch up every time. Every time I swear, like, I didn't even see that hole at all. Just driving along, look over, and my truck's, like, straight up in the air. Okay, put it in the photos section. Uh, JJ, did you save the Tatran? Sorry, I was working on a spreadsheet. We did. We finally got it out. Tatran is rescued. It was flipped over on its back, but we got it out. Um, but yeah, right up here, I think there should be a watchtower to my right... somewhere? I'll have to check the map. Oh, it's way over here still. Quite a- oops. Tried to mark it with expedition's markings. Good job, thank you. I was quite worried about it. Like I said, there was... There's only been five times where I've been pretty scared that I might have to recover, or... I think now it'd kind of be funny almost to just leave it. Like, if I, if I got into a spot where I'm so stuck, just leave it as like a... Sort of a... A monument, kind of. Like the... Because we're not... Well, I said I would never buy any trucks in this playthrough, but... I think if we... If we got to the point where, well, I don't know, I think it'd be fun to, like, leave it there and buy a new one, but at the same time, then I'd be, like, buying a new one, so I don't know if I'd want to do that, I guess. But it would be kind of funny if, like, you got to a point where it was so, so hard you couldn't recover it. Instead of recovering, you just leave it there as, like, a, all right, the game, you won, you, you've conquered my truck, I'll never use it again. So basically, every truck, if they did get stuck hard, like, in a bad enough spot, we would never use it again, because we wouldn't be able to recover it. So it kind of, it would literally mean no recoveries. So there would be a possible failure if we got all of our trucks stuck. I don't remember if you go up this way or to the left, but I think I'm going to go up to the right here. Follow the main road. That looks pretty good, but I think I'll keep following the road. But yeah, Mateo, the, your, uh, your farm sim things in my uh, Discord are really making me want to play farm sim. I love the organization, like your little shed and stuff, like... that's That looks so much fun. I've played it a few times, and I've never really played it for... Oops. For long enough, I would say. I never have enough time. But, yeah, I just... I don't know, that's such a fun game with, like, building up your whole... I call it like an empire or whatever. Oops. Keep pushing the wrong buttons trying to move the cameras and stuff. Hello Snowjacker. Hello Ian. Welcome to the stream guys. Oh boy. Almost tipped it over again. So we uh, we moved the rocket trailer a little bit in the end of the last episode. And then we moved it again a little bit in this episode. And I think we're going to have to finish it off in the next episode. I could go go back and do it part of it now, but let's see here. You'll even let me ride the tractors? Okay, so this is the one. Medio point. This hill is just glare ice. Let's see if we can see it from here. Let me mark it. Uh, here. Oh, it's way up there. Yeah, it's just pure ice going all the way up this hill. And this hill is the same thing. Just glare ice. This one has a couple of trees, but then when you get to right here, there's nothing to grip onto. I mean, there's a couple of trees on this side as well, but it's basically just glare ice all the way up. So... 
Yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be an interesting one with no chains. Trying to get up either side of that is gonna be tough. I've literally said that I'm worried about that one for like, oh boy, I don't even know how long now. Probably like. Probably like three, four seasons. I would say probably back to Tamir even, maybe. Looking forward to seeing you next picks, Zing. Uh, I'm gonna go do Satisfactory again tonight, or today. Gotta get my coal power. Oh, actually, I saw you, you streamed yesterday, Zing. You were streaming at the same time I was, so... I didn't notice that you were you were streaming, but you probably started right around the same time because you were had like a three hour ish stream, I think it said. But sounds good. Uh, have fun, Zing. If you're if you're going for a while yet, I'll probably stop by and say hello. Um, it's a it's on a dedicated server, so you're welcome to connect as a tourist and check it out. Nice. I don't know that I've ever... I've played multiplayer just with Telemenis, so I don't, I'm not really familiar with it, but I definitely will. Yeah, just a spur of the moment fired it up. Okay. Gosh, I'm, kind of, I'm tempted to go try it with this truck. I don't think it'd work out very well. The uh, Medio Point one. Bye, Blaine. I don't know if that was your leaving or someone else was leaving, but um, thank you for stopping in. Have a good rest of your weekend. I was going to say night, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to start after you today. Gotta hang out... Or... Yeah, hang out here for a while. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Zing. I've been see I've been feeling kind of sick for the last few days, so I probably won't do much. Yesterday I didn't do like anything at all. All right, let me stop for just a second. I gotta blow my nose again. Alright, it's kind of nice with the uh, the steering wheel here, because if I was to blow my nose with my my controller, I'd have to like set it down and, you know, try and push, still push the trigger, like onto my leg or onto the table or something, but with the steering wheel I can still blow my nose and kind of steer with my forearms and like push the pedal with my foot, so that's kind of nice. Hit that like button, peeps. Thank you, Matt. It always helps. Look at how look at how nice this looks, though. Oh gosh, getting distracted by the views. I was looking at the mountains way in the background, like how it's all snowy and just white. Oops. I picked the worst time to worst time to look. I. Start looking up and there's a bunch of rocks right under my truck. Okay. It does look stunning. Gives off frost po Oh gosh. How am I so bad? Every time I look at the chat, I'm flipping now. <laughs> uh, some of you guys have said I drive really good for being able to read chat. But I, I would disagree, especially now. Um, let's do this. Let's pull the front. Oh, no, I can't. Ah, let's do it anyways. Pull the front end towards this tree. Pull the back, or pull the front towards this tree now. Hopefully that spins us a bit. And then maybe if we're lucky, we can get this to flip. Nope, no luck. Okay. Okay.
Okay, how about now? If we're lucky, we can get this to flip. Uh-oh. Flipping the wrong way. This should work, right? Going uphill? There we go. Hey, Snake. Long time no see. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, Snake. Alright. Kula and Namir are some of the most visually good regions, in my opinion. Probably Season 10 is close. Yeah, I really like Season 10 as well. Um, it's a mirror. JJ Ha, I think it's actually the terrain is deceptively bumpy. Yeah, that's true. It's definitely deceptively bumpy because it looks like it's fairly flat, but once you hit that snow, it like just sinks super, super like deep. Kind of like you were saying earlier with like the mud holes. It's kind of the same thing, but with like snow holes, but normally they don't flip your truck, but with a scout truck, it can because it's so deep. Gotta blow my nose again here. Ugh. All right. Um, I enjoy a wheel for racing, but I always end up coming back to controller for Snowrunner. Yeah, I'm so used to the Snowrunner controls with a controller. Um, I still. I use it half the time, like if, like, if I were to like flip over, I usually just grab my controller and start winching and stuff, like, uh, I use it for cranes and stuff, oops. I still find it easier in quite a few areas. Hello JJ, loving the stream, thank you Brian, much appreciated. It's always nice to hear some feedback. Why is that snake? Sorry, what? What did snake say? Oh, and also high snake. Okay. Never mind. I missed the uh, first part of that. Been stopping in and thumbs upping and been playing <laughs> Dragon's Dogma 2. Isn't that new? I, bet I saw an ad for that the other day. I guess when it's time to use cranes or wrenches or among other things, you have to pick up the controller anyway. Yeah, that's what I usually do. I'm, I can winch a little bit with the wheel, but when you use the crane, it's the controls are kind of odd, and you could probably change them, but uh, I, I haven't done it, so. Very interesting, thanks for sharing. I was interested in getting a wheel. What, which ones are you looking at, Mateo? So I, I have a G920, and mine randomly shuts off, and I think Cools Gaming, uh, I think he has a G29, and he said his randomly shuts off as well. I think that's the, uh, the, the equivalent on PlayStation. I don't know if it's like newer models or like what it is, but probably like once an hour, my, my truck will shut off in the game. And this is the only game I've ever really used it for. So I don't know if it does it with other games as well, but like, say if, uh, who was just talking about racing? Uh, Snowjacker, if, if he was playing like a racing game and all of a sudden your truck shuts off, I don't even know if they can in some of those games, I guess, but that could cut, cause uh, quite a problem. What would you recommend? Uh, I haven't looked much, but honestly, budget is low, 150 euros max. Uh... To be honest, I'm not really sure what what's out there for that range. Um, so the, the the G29 or G920, which is like the Xbox and PlayStation equivalent, like the same one that I have, it goes for 300. But I've seen it on sale on Amazon for like 230 a few times. So I know that's still like 50% more than what you were looking to spend, but. Um, I know Thrustmasters have some pretty good, pretty good ones out there as well. Um, in the Thrustmaster, 
I kind of wanted one of those for a uh, farming simulator. Be able to play with those and like the joysticks and stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what would be a good good one for that price. I'm not really sure. I don't know what's available for those that range. G29 for me, PS5, and PC. It would shut off if you pick up the controller. Mine just randomly shuts off. Like, I'll be playing without the controller, and it'll just shut off. Like, I'm... See, right now, I'm just driving with the wheel, and then shuts off and starts right back up. I'm like, what the heck? It could be something with swapping inputs, but usually it happens when I've been driving with it for quite a while, and it just shuts off. I'll have to try and pay closer attention, I guess, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure usually it's just like I'm driving just like right now, and it'll just shut off. But I do have the controller turned on sitting right next to me, so maybe it's... You know, something with that, I don't know. I'm actually not even sure where I'm bringing this trailer, to be honest. I was gonna go up this hill to go get that watch point, or, uh... Not watch point, but whatever you want to call it. Not had that issue yourself, okay. Yeah, Cools is the only one that I've really talked to, because most people I don't know have a wheel. Or most people don't, so... G29 is $1.99 on Amazon in UK, okay. So yeah, it might be a little bit a little bit more expensive, but if that's what you're looking for. I think the G29 is probably the most popular one that I hear people have. Thank you for looking that up, Ryan. That was also very nice of you. Oops. Honestly, that's too much for me for a wheel. So yeah, I'm not sure what's what's really available. Thanks for looking it up for sure. kind of flew us, flung us a bit. Yeah, wheels aren't cheap. I know they can get really expensive too. Like, kind of the most popular ones are, like I said, like the G29 or G920. I think both of those are like 300 uh, US dollars, that is. Yeah, it's true, even, even controllers are 80 bucks. That's a good point, Zing. Very good point. I think this might be a good spot to drop this. So let's do that here. Okay. Probably not the best spot to drop it, but... Games are like a hundred bucks. I gave up going to get a crane out tomorrow. Need a break from Amir. Uh, what did you give up with, Southang? I, I know you're on the same uh, rocket trailer mission. Are you... What exactly are you stuck on? What a world we live in. Okay, I don't know if there's a road over to this where I want to go, actually. Let me stop and check this. So yeah, there actually isn't a road over here. I should have gone the other way, but I think we'll just go through this and maybe up through here and go that way. So let's try and mark this. 
Ah, oh, crap. Expeditions controls are getting me now. You're using the bore for the icy bits, okay. Yeah, I remember you saying that now. Sorry, I just sneezed like like five times between those between talking there, I was like, oh I can talk. Oh wait, I gotta sneeze again. Oh I can talk. Oh I gotta sneeze again. Kept coming coming back. Pictures are on the Discord. I'll check those out later. Thank you. Launch the truck in the air. That's right. Yeah. Alright. Bless you five times. Yeah, I just sneezed again between between that one. Ugh. I don't know if it's like allergies or what, but Love the night shot, bud. Is that the um, expeditions one? Yeah, it looks like a meth out thing. Oh no. Yeah, I got myself into a mess too, Southang, with uh, the rocket trailer, so you're not alone. You're not the first one I made in this region. Probably won't be the last one either. Um, anchor the board to the lamppost, use the tail winch to pull the front of the trailer back to the road. Yeah, I found a lot of the time it's, uh, a lot of the time it's about knowing the terrain. If you can pull a vehicle downhill, you can flip it over no matter, I mean, obviously there's a limit to it, but almost no matter what. <clears throat> you can have a much smaller vehicle working against a much bigger vehicle, and if you're pulling downhill, especially if you have a tree to back up to or a pole or something, you can pull downhill and that, that thing will flip over pretty easily. You gotta be careful about over flipping it by pulling too much. Alright. Here we are. It wasn't bad. I'm glad we went this way because the other way has a lot of deep snow right off the mountain to our right here. Down there. So. Yeah, it was a good thing, good choice to go this way. So yeah, a lot of the time what I look at is not even, it's not, oh, see there it did it. It just shut off. Did you guys hear that? It shut off and I haven't touched the controller in a good, about three minutes. So I don't know what that was, but you can even rewind it and check my, uh, <coughs> sorry, check my inputs on the right hand side or even the left hand side. I will, uh, I'll bump it now so you can see. You can see the controls, or like the, uh, the little paddle shifters here, for like parking brake and this one. But if I pick up the controller, it switches to RBOB. So you can go back and check that. My truck just shut off randomly after using it for about three minutes in a row. And I don't know why it does that. It does it like once an hour. Hello Zavi, welcome to the stream. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. I'll read chat in just a second here, guys. Getting to a kind of a sketchy part here. Oh boy. There we go. Maybe new drivers are needed. <laughs> oh, you're good. No worries about the capitals. Uh, trying to resist playing SnowRunner until Tuesday so I can snag the Atom and start doing contracts. Nice thing. I remember you said that you're in Scandinavia. You got some work to do. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, um, work to do up the ski hill, so it'll be a good test for it. For sure. Alright. Yeah, I think that's all we had to do up here, really. Just visit that point. Hello, Zavi. Okay, let's go back. Let's get all these trucks out of here. So that this terrain is reset. And then we can go get the rocket trailer for the next one. Oh boy. Is that a thing at JJ, man? Like he needs a new driver being the wheel? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. My wheel just shuts off randomly. It does it like every hour. So if I play for if I play for an hour, oops, wrong way. Yeah, I could. I guess I could check. I I'm probably not on the latest latest software. Probably. So you might be right on that one. But yeah, I don't know why, it's just, it randomly shuts off and it's been doing that probably around, like if I, if I do like a three hour stream, it usually shuts off like three times it seems like. And like I said, normally it's when I'm, I've been driving for a good bit with just the steering wheel, so it's not like an input s switching thing. If it's exactly an hour, I bet it's sort of a USB sleep thing. I'll try and I'll try and keep better track of it. Time it? Yeah, I'll have to try and keep better track. I'll try and look at when it shuts off and maybe about what time it is and then when it does it again. But yeah, it's 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 in my head. It seems like it's about once an hour every time like uh if I do like a three hour stream it's like it'll shut off like three times. If I were to play for like an hour, it would shut off like once, so I don't Maybe it is something, some weird setting or something, but yeah, it's just weird. Thinking about it, I should have winched the 605R with the bore instead of swapping them on the trailer. Winch? Oh yeah, that would have been a good idea. <coughs> Excuse me. So just winched, pulled the 605R instead of uh, attaching to it with the, the bore. Yeah, that would have been good. Hello JJ in chat. Welcome back, Sniper. How are you doing today, Sniper? So we... We did pull the trailer, but we didn't, uh... We didn't get it all the way delivered. We, uh, we ran into a bit of an issue. I had to go clear a blockage, and I got my truck stuck going to clear the blockage on the path, so then I had to go around. And then I got another truck stuck trying to get that truck out, so that's why I had the crane here and the Zix, so... Uh, turned into quite a... Wait, why am I bringing that back? That's fine. Turned into a quite a, a longer uh, drive than we were expecting, I guess. But... Yeah, we got it, we got it out now. 
We got all the trucks out, got the blockage cleared. Headed back to go get the saddle high to get on the rocket to do this the rest of the way. Let's see if hopefully that works. Could be a firmware issue. May need to update firmware and drivers. Not sure, but worth a try, definitely. Thank you guys for the suggestion. But yeah, it seems like it's been a, a roughly an hourly occurrence of where the wheel just shuts off. It's, it's only for like a split second. It shuts off and turns right back on. And actually, the, the wheel doesn't shut off, just the truck. The truck in-game. It's like, I'll be driving perfectly fine and then... I don't know, like a loss of power or something just goes out. But yeah, it's very weird. I know Cools Gaming has the same issue. So I don't know, maybe it's a known issue, but I didn't know about it. Alright, here we are. Kind of stuck on the, the boulder here. Okay, let's repair. Let's do the... Oops. Wait, the service trailer is empty? It only has tires? I emptied it at all? Dang. Okay, I didn't know that, actually. So I don't even have... I don't have any points left, just a few tires, which... That's fine, we still gotta bring the Tuz back. It's got two spare tires to get fixed. Take this back off. Now I gotta change. I gotta change my thumbnail for this too. I gotta make it something different with the rocket, not the delivery. Because <laughs> we didn't didn't quite get that far. And I don't want it to be like clickbaity, so. I mean, I guess we did move it, but. Maybe I'll just name it something, I don't know. Moving the rocket or something like that to where it's not not quite as uh I think it's like rocket delivery or something on the oh shoot. On the title, so I'll change those around. Alright, here we are. Just the back end was just sliding. I just gotta back it up. And we are good. We'll move it a little bit further, I guess. Hopefully make it easier next time. rocks in the way here. Oh, I should have grabbed more fuel. Darn it. Well, actually, no. I do have a I do have a fuel truck up here. I forgot I have the uh, Acteon or something up in front of us. I 
I despise this hole. This thing has flipped me a fair few times. Uh, we're stuck on the trailer legs again. Alright, there we go. Jeez. Hang on a second. I just want to see this. Let's see what this looks like. You could fit a whole a whole car under there. Only like the, the back wheels are touching. I think all the rest of them are up. Crazy. You're not that far from where the trailer's gotta go. Yeah, but I actually, normally, uh, Lonnie, I, I don't really have an end time. It's just kind of uh, when it's time to eat, usually, or just kind of 5, 5.30, I just usually end it. But today I have to go at 5, so that's 12 minutes for me. I definitely don't have enough time to get it all the way there in 12 minutes, but I'll move it down the road for a bit, and we'll have to finish it off next time. I don't think we're getting it all the way there. Oh man, it's the rocket! Yeah. The rocket. The thing is huge. Very heavy as well. I was like, crap, I know we're getting close to that truck somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to park it somewhat far away so that the terrain resets at this crossing up in front of us here. Because I don't want... I don't want to park close to where we, the uh, terrain doesn't reset either. So we'll park it a little bit further off. Just to be sure. Actually, here, let's do this. Let's mark it. I want to reset all of this, so let's put... Right there, 184. Let's get the Tuz out of there. Wait a minute, does this thing have... Oh, two broken tires, okay. So yeah, as you guys can see, we had a... Quite a bit of a problem here. And this actually got reset already like once or twice, because we came in here and went back to Erska River and then came back in here and... Yeah, this thing's just got destroyed from the uh, the impact of some of those, like, going up on the cement, going in to get fuel. Yikes. Alright, I think we'll park this right around here. Actually, let's check the distance from here. 130? That's fine. Alright. So now we'll have the rocket and the Tuz, and we got fuel. That'll be a good spot for this to sit. See the Tuz right over there. I think Florida's a way better place to launch a rocket. Yeah, definitely. They say the closer you are to the uh, the equator, the easier it is to launch a rocket because the Earth is spinning faster down there. Not not spinning faster, but like. I guess I don't know how to explain it. The 
For some reason it's easier, I, I guess I don't know the exact, uh, I think they said it was faster, but I don't remember. But yeah, the further south you go, from the northern hemisphere anyways, is easier. Let's switch to this truck, let's bring over some, oh it's out of fuel, nice. Bring over some fuel quick. Yeah, don't don't quote me on that. I don't remember exactly what it was. I don't think it's faster, but something. Thinner atmosphere or something weird? I don't remember. Slingshot. Insert when in Soviet Russia joke. Yeah. Throw some fuel in this bad boy here. There we go, fully fueled. Now I think we'll just, uh... Jeez, look at how big that rocket is on the map. I know it's shrinking down, but jeez. Thing's huge. I think we'll get the last trucker trailer out of here. What is this? The Warthog? Yeah. So we got the Warthog, and we got to bring this sideboard back at some point. I wanted that so we can have both the um, the Step 310E with a trailer and the Taiga if we want it. So that's why we got two of them. This long log trailer is going to be used for long logs in or not commence. I had to think about it for a second. I don't think we need any long logs here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to think. We could throw a saddle low quick on... Maybe the taiga? No, that's that's further away. Where's the step at? Set. Oh, no, that's right by the garage. We could do that. Oh boy, we're running off the road. Yeah, we could throw a quick saddle low on the step and come back and grab that trailer quick. This dam was here so that we could pull ourselves through because we didn't have the bridge built, but now we do have the bridge. Now the dam's just kind of in the way. Back this up and turn it back quick. Well, let me consult the spreadsheet. Yeah, let me know. Do you need any long logs here in uh, Cosmodrome or is it all in Cherno? I know for sure you need some in Cherno. I remember bringing some to the lumber mill, or sawmill. I don't recall having to lo log any long logs here. Or haul any long logs. I just realized one of the areas is called launch pad area. I could probably visit the launch pad area after I deliver the rocket. That way it's uh, two, two birds with one stone. Huh? And this is quite slow. There, oh, there's one in Erska. Okay, yeah, I did the one in Erska. That's why we still got the trailer. We we pulled it from there. Six in Cherno. Okay. 
Thank you for that, Zing. So I, I can bring this trailer all the way into uh, Cherno. I won't do that now, but basically just know that it can go all the way there without needing it here. Dude, this thing's crawling at like the turtle speed. It's gotta be like as slow as possible. So I think I'm, I definitely gotta equip this before I go to the next map. Uh, equip the, the front, log carrier front. Cause I do not want to drag this thing like this to the next map. Oh no, oh no, oh oof, didn't hit it. I think this is just going to be our trailer staging area, it looks like. Oh, see there, I did it again. My truck just shut off. Detached my winch. So how long was that? Last one was what? Almost an hour ago, wasn't it? Or was that less than that? I don't remember. I feel like it was probably less than an hour, but... Actually, let me back this up a bit. Next stream is on Monday. Probably, yes. Um, I say, like, every weekend, like, I might stream over the weekend, but I almost never stream on the weekends. Either because I'm doing something or I'm gone. Well, I guess that could be considered doing something, but... Uh, let's detach this. But yeah, Monday, much less than an hour, yeah. Okay. But it, you, you could see it detached the winch, and my truck shut off. So I don't know why it does it, but it happens a few times every stream, and it's... Normally it turns right back on and keeps going. Like, it just, it's like a glitch or something that it just tweaks out for a second, but... It's still very annoying, especially when you're towing something. Like a truck or anything. And all of a sudden it just detaches. It's like, oh, come on, really? Okay, let's throw... Crane. Saddle. Low. Oh man, I didn't realize it's already 5 o'clock. Alright. Well, so normally I could play for a little bit longer, guys. But today I have to go right at 5, so... Yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, Zing is going to be playing some Status Factory, so I'll hop over there. I won't be able to stream, but I can uh, watch him stream. So if you guys are into that, go check out Zing's stream. And uh, yeah, otherwise just play on the next stream on Monday. For sure Tuesday we're playing Snowrunner with the Azov Adam. Monday? I'm not sure. Um, it might be Expeditions, or it might be Season 13 PTS. Or it might be hard mode, so uh, you'll probably know Monday morning because I'll, I'll have to make or create the stream, but um, I won't create it early because I don't know what we'll be doing yet. So, yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream and see you all in the next one.